now that we've got some of the basic traditionals out of the way, gone a little bit beyond traditionals into three-quarter posing, we're going to tackle some high-key poses using a bogan roller system. I pull out my high-key background, give it a nice seamless effect, and we're ready to go. Using our 45 degree angle once again, I demonstrate that I want her laying and give a rough idea of how I'd like it to be. This is a very uncomfortable pose. Usually I do all poses first myself. This one hurts so much I don't even do it. <laughs> I explain that. I explain that it's fairly comfortable until we make it look good, then it will hurt. So what we do is get it close, have them pull the legs up and stretch tall, which is the part that hurts, shoot the shot, and they can relax it real quick. Note her legs. She poses them on her own. The line does not look near as well as if we cross them the other way, the nearest leg to the camera in front. I pull the feet so that they get pointed and ask them to bring them as close as they can to the back of their head. I say try to touch the back of your head with your feet. It's extremely uncomfortable, but it looks terrific. Give her a little kick to get a little more angle. By adding a little more angle, you shorten the length of the body. To keep things easy, we're going to do the simple fold the arm pose again. I don't usually do it this much, but this is what we've been talking about on Portrait So why not keep it simple? Bring in reflector fill, which really isn't needed in a high key setup, but for consistency, I'm putting it in so that you can see the repetitive nature of each shot, each pose, each setup. Face cross camera once again, shoulders on a 45, the face on the opposite 45, feminine tilt. Just before they take it, I have them stretch their back and push the shoulders down. This is very important. I try not to have them hold it any longer than they have to. So I have them stretch, I click the shot, and have them relax. Now as long as she's down there, we have the white background set up, I will assume a little different pose. She simply has to mirror it. So she will look at what I do, and I can direct her from several feet away. And as I want her to move, I move around with various suggestions until I like what I see. Her left hand's tucked in behind. I don't like the missing hand, so I ask her to slide it down her leg so that the hand shows a little bit. Her right hand, instead of working on trying to pose it, I just slide it behind her neck, as we've talked about on Portrait as well. I'm trying to keep basic posing as simple as possible. You'll note once again, she's on a 45 degree angle. And instead of doing a cross-camera facial view, her face will be on the same side as the way her shoulders are pointing. So we need to move the main light to the left side so that she's short-lit. I have the nearest leg up, her right leg under. This eliminates a view directly into the crotch and eliminates a crotch shot. Now to change the pose, I assume another position. I have an idea of what I'd like to see her do. I do it and have her copy what I'm doing. If I don't like it, I'll move myself and change it to get some other ideas. Very simple again, just the arm, the right arm out, relaxed over the knee, leaning back on her left arm. Very important to pull the backbone in, stretch tall, drop the shoulders. Moving the equipment out of the way, this is how quickly <laughs> we can get rid of the background. Cammy threw a little comical smile in there. And that's the end of our high-key segment. We turn off the high-key lights, and we're done.